Good morning everyone. This is Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. It's less than a month old but somehow the screen has shattered so we need to replace it. For Samsung I always prefer to get original screen replacement because the copy one does play with the quality, touch sensitivity and other stuff. So today we got the official pack, we're going to replace it. We do have some basic tools that we need to apply to perform this replacement. First of all, hair dryer, Phillips screwdriver, double-sided tape, and flat opening tool like plastic card and stuff like that. And also do have tweezer and flat opening tool. So let's do it. First of all, we're going to apply some heat. The heat has to be applied equally in all surrounding the back plate to soften the adhesive so that we can pull this off. Remember, this is in between plastic and acrylic, means it's highly fragile, very sensitive. So if you put some sort of thick flat opening tool, that's going to get shattered into pieces. So be careful. I applied heat around five to 10 minutes by ordinary hair dryer, which is 2200 watts. So I can feel it, this is very hot now. And I just made a little gap, okay? Just a little gap to insert this plastic card in there and to cut the adhesive. As you can see, this is super thin. It took about five minutes, minimum five minutes to separate the back plate from the actual housing because they use super strong adhesive and the back plate made from, as I mentioned, this is made from acrylic and plastic. It's easy to get shattered, super sensitive, so be careful. And once you pull this off, keep it in a clean place so the lens you don't get any sort of dust or anything. Now, what are you gonna do? We're gonna take out all the screws that we can see. First of all, thanks to Samsung because they always use same sort of screws, same in size and pattern and all the time Philips. Okay? On the other hand, Apple, iPhone, they always do use all sort of screws, different in shapes, pattern and size, which is highly confusing. So in that way, this is super simple. So once all the screws remote from the mid frame, what are you going to do? We're going to disconnect the NFC connector and then we're going to access to the battery connector and disconnect it. And the secondary cable and all other flexes, okay? By the way, the main board doesn't have any screws, but the secondary board, which is I call charging board, does have a couple of screws, which is black one, so keep those separate. And when you pull this off, uh, pull it gently because you don't have much room to pull this yeah, speaker out, okay? As you can see, I'm struggling a bit, just trying to find a gap. It's a kind of challenge, but you can do that. It's super simple. I did not cut any part of this video, just to show you how it is. Okay, now, the secondary board does have a couple of screws, as I mentioned. We're going to take this out and also we're going to disconnect all the flex. So let's start. Now easily we can take the sensor out and the flexes. What you should do to perform this replacement successfully. Don't do anything that you don't know. Just take your time. 
watch it correctly, carefully and perform it. Use the right tools and it should be fine. For example, for Samsung Galaxy S23 FE, this time they made the simple tap to pull the battery out. But previously it was so much challenging because Samsung used to use super strong adhesive underneath the battery to keep it in place. To pull it was very difficult. It used to deform the battery shape and it was kind of struggling to put it back to the new housing because the shape was no more normal. But this time it's going to be so simple. As you can see, also they didn't use any sort of screws for the main board, which is great. So now we're going to take out this vibrator and also the camera. The camera the front facing camera also kind of challenging why because they used strong sealer to keep it sealed okay and I would suggest you once you pull the main board down try to do it as soon as possible why because since you applied the heat to soften the back cover it made things simple why because the actual sealer is soft now but if you leave it for a long time it's going to be so hard and it's going to be kind of challenging so use the tool and if there is any sharp tool be careful because if you accidentally damage the flax that might damage the camera permanently and it's going to be very difficult to find the camera replacement because this model is quite new Here is the fun part. So first, pull this blue tab and there are the clear side on the right and left. Make sure you peel all of them and we're going to pull it at the same time like that. Firmly pull it. It's going to take a lot of energy as you can see. And the battery came out without deforming the shape. Now we are good to go. What are you going to do? We're going to repeat everything that we done. For example, as you can see, I'm putting back this vibrator exactly as it was. Okay. This is how simple it is. So carry on, repeat everything, give it a try, check the touch. And then if you confirm everything is fine, then you can put the back cover on.